Hello everyone. So today I'm going to go over a shareholder letter from Amazon to its investors from the year 2000. <clears throat> Amazon had a similar situation that year as what Tesla did in 2022. So we can draw some parallels maybe from the letter here. Ouch. This is from Jeff Bezos to the investors. Uh, so to our shareholders, ouch, it's been a brutal year for many in the capital markets and certainly for Amazon.com shareholders. As of this writing, our shares are down more than 80% from when I wrote you last year. Nevertheless, by almost any measure, Amazon.com, the company, is in a stronger position now than at any time in its past. We served 20 million customers in 2000, up from 14 million in 99. Sales grew 2.76 billion in 2000 from 1.64 billion in 99. Average spend per customer in 2000 was up $134, which is 19%. Gross profit grew to 656 million in 2000 from 291 million in 1999. So this is kind of similar to what's happened to Tesla this year, I would say. They're down uh, roughly in a similar ballpark. I think it's approaching 70% down despite having their strongest year uh, in their lifetime. So I think, you know, you can see how these things happen to companies as they go along. Uh, so at the bottom there, uh, he goes on to say, so if the company is better positioned today than it was a year ago, why is the stock price so much lower than it was a year ago? As the famed investor Benjamin Graham said, in the short term, the stock market is a voting machine. In the long term, it's a weighing machine. Clearly, there was a lot of voting going on in the boom year of 1999 and much less weighing. We're a company that wants to be weighed, and over time, we will be. Over the long term, all companies are. <clears throat> In the meantime, we have our heads down, working to build a heavier and heavier company. So that was the, the letter to shareholders of Amazon in the year 2000. So 21 years later, uh, Amazon in the year 2021 saw 7.1% profit on $469 million, or sorry, billion dollars of uh, income. And their share price uh, over that time was up thousands of percent. You can go check the chart yourself, uh, but it's, the performance was something I think most people would want to take part in if they can. So here's a chart showing that growth uh, for Amazon's revenue versus their net income over that time. So that's where I got those numbers from. And if we look at, compare that to Tesla, Tesla's growing even faster than Amazon uh, is or was. In roughly 10 years' time, they uh, have now seen a profit of 12.6 billion, which was 16, which was a 16.8 operating margin for the year 2022. So, in 10 years' time, they were able to grow their profit to a larger amount than what Amazon did in 20 years. So, it's worth asking the question: Where will Tesla be in 20 years if this continues? Could it be similar to Amazon's story and be worth thousands of percent uh, above where it is today? Well, only time will tell. I think we can all remember a time when there was a lot of non-believers in what Amazon could do. Uh, but as time went on, we can obviously see they they proved uh, the naysayers wrong. And to me, like that's the time to invest when there are still a lot of non-believers. If you wait until everyone sees the benefits of the new product or service, you're, then you're too late. <clears throat> I would say that this is still the case for Tesla. 
there's still a lot of people who don't believe uh, that electric vehicles and Tesla, the company, is going to survive long into the future. There's still people saying, oh, it's just an automotive company. Once the traditional automotive companies step into the space, they're, they're going to go away. Uh, I think that's, that's not the case. Um, but because there's still so many non-believers, the opportunity is, is still there. Uh, Tesla has already pulled off some amazing feats. So we had a chance to see what they're capable of and there's a lot of information to go off of. And to me shows uh, that Tesla is far ahead and will be here for the long term. And I'm excited to see what they'll do in the next 10 and 20 years. So my name is Evan Bertrand. You've been watching the Evergreen channel. Thanks for watching.